Is he up with you? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, please, uh, if you don't mind, anyone that you could invite, invite them, especially if you assume that the person also needs this. Because no, 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 no knowledge is, is a waste, okay? Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'll get my CV ready. And I expect, I expect everyone to also do the same thing. So let me just use one old CV of mine. And if you do not have CV, I think uh, I will have a session on on that, how we can quickly come up with a CV, but not today, not today. So it is assumed that people that I have online with me, they have, they have one CV or the other. So uh, Femi, do you have any CV with you? Let me, do you have any CV? CV? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, cool. Now then, uh, Cognitive Finance, please, do you have any CV with you that you can at least use for just, uh, just to, to test yeah. around or to, to, to practice? Any CV with you? I don't have any. Oh, well. Okay, so that means that you, you have to really pay attention to what I have on the screen. Okay. Please take move the window away from the chair education. Okay. 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 You know, I have my CV open now. Can we please maintain silence so that we can have a very good time together, please. Okay, I have my CV opened now. So just as I said before, okay, if you don't have your CV with you, it's not a crime, it's not a problem, but I just want to be very sure you have a CV on your own. Only me, did you have a CV? If not, if not, yeah, perfect, but at least you have a CV, you can, after the class, at least go back and play around, right? Yes, I do. Yeah, community finance, you have same, right? Okay, cool. Now that we have Blessing Victor on, on with us. Yeah, Blessing Victor. Oh, Victor, oh, hopefully you have a CV with you or you have it somewhere, right? Okay, okay cool. Then in, in that sense, so let's just go straight up then. So I assume that everybody, ha everyone here has CV with us, okay? Now, please, I need the feedback. I will need the feedback. So that's constantly I'll be asking some questions and I will want feedback. And, you, you know, I want to also confirm. Femi, Olumide, please, cognitive finance. You don't mind, don't mind me if I, if I call, if I request to have your attention calling you finance, please. I'll just, I just, it, it makes it easier, a lot easier for me. Yeah, Femi, do you have a LinkedIn account? Olimide, do you have a LinkedIn account? Finance, do you have a LinkedIn account? If if you have, please just use a thumb up. Just if you have, if you have, let me know. If you don't have, so that I will not go about it now. Okay, Femi, you have cool. Now, Olimide, do you have a LinkedIn account? No, I'm, I don't. You don't? Oh, cool. So that means that very quickly we are going to set that up. Okay, very quickly. And let me also point this out. LinkedIn is such a social platform that you just can't do without it. It is not like Twitter. It is not like Facebook. It is basically a professional platform. And when I mean professional platform, it is if, if, you, are, if you are after developing your career, if you are after your profession, it's a platform where you can shoot yourself to the world smartly, okay? And it is not a platform that I think you shouldn't have, especially we, we of this generation, so to say. So it's if if to really leverage on technology, you can't do without LinkedIn. Profile yourself there properly and professionally. Okay, so if you do not have, please add on straight up to LinkedIn.com, LinkedIn.com. Okay, you can see on the screen here, LinkedIn.com, and quickly open one. Finance, can you quickly do that? And Olimide, do you have, if you don't have, can you quickly do that as well? I'm on it now. Oh, cool. You will need an email address. You, don't, you, don't, you really don't need so much to do, like so much. You don't, really, you don't need so much to do. For now, let's quickly set access to that. I just want, I want ants on, rightly. 
So you go back, you go back and and do more. But for now, let's just stay. I want everyone to have an account on LinkedIn. So after you've gotten yourself an account on LinkedIn, then we can move on, okay? And for you, Femi, that you have an account there, what I would advise you to do while others are getting their accounts up is go to your profile. You can see my screen, right? Go to, you should be having, yes, this, yeah, you should be having this as well. Go to your profile, click on view profile. Please, if you are still setting right. your accounts up, don't be under any pressure whatsoever. You, you, I'll, I'll still come back and, 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 and take us through, okay? So now for, for those that have an account there already, okay? So go to your profile here, you will see view profile, click on view profile, okay? After clicking okay. on view profile, under the description here, you will see more, okay? You will mm. see more, click on more, click on, click on more. You could see okay. build a resume. All right. Okay. So if you do not have a very quality resume, you can use this, uh, this feature to build it. And if you have as well, impute it there. It will help you to structure your CV a whole lot better than the one that you have. Conventional okay, system. So sorry, I won't be able to really dig deep because I, I want us to have a very, let me call it a, a, a very short time online here. So I will just, I will, I will lead us to, it's just like me giving you an idea of where to go and I, <laughs> and I led you to the park. So I expect that after the session here, you can explore better, okay? So when you click on build a resume, it will open up a page for you. Now you can see create from profile. That is, if you want LinkedIn to help you create a CV, but before mm -hmm. you can select this, you must have set up your LinkedIn profile. I know this will not be feasible for people that are just joining LinkedIn, obviously. And for you that you are on LinkedIn even right now, if you have not mm -hmm. perfectly set up your profile, it won't be able to give you anything here. But it is cool. You can, you can use it. If you use it, it will help you to structure them. From there, you'll be able to see the, the missing link so that you can put them all right. Alternatively, you can click on upload resume. Hmm. If you click on upload resume, it will give you an option to upload your CV from your local machine. So after uploading it, then you can, you'll be able to see a whole lot of your CV without intestine, a whole lot of your, a whole lot CV that you assume you have set up perfectly without eye, without mouth, so that you'll be able to put them all together in a perfect shape, okay? So you can you can use that, but for people that are just setting up their profiles, uh, how many do I have here? Okay, I think uh, finance is just setting this up. I wouldn't know. Olimide, did you have an account on LinkedIn already? No, I'm just setting it up now. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I'm just let me let's just take our time to to allow them do that. Okay. And for you, Femi. Yes, sir. Uh, there, there, there are, if well, I I I don't want to. Uh, anyway, let me just let me just assume that you have set yourself up perfectly on on the LinkedIn, but if you haven't, okay, key things that you are supposed to have on your LinkedIn are your basically your skills, your skills, basically your skills, because job opportunities, so to say, on LinkedIn they attach uh, a skills to them, the kind of skill they are looking for, the kind of responsibilities the person will be given when eventually considered. So they are the key things that should be, that are expected to be on your profile. And how you can get that done is, of course, your educational background is going to be there. I think by default, LinkedIn has that. If there are any awards or, uh, you know, sometimes you there are some minor positions that you occupy, you assume they are minor, but they are not minor, they matter. Because... Mm -hmm. You are in a class, they gave you guys assignments. The assignment borders on, let me say, data analysis using Python, data analysis using Excel. Okay. And in the group, they say you should you should be the leader of the group. And you led the group. And at the end of the day, all the members of the group, they all came out with excellence. You might assume it is just a class assignment and you don't have that on your CV. 
my brother, you are missing out, okay? Those are the key things. When you come on LinkedIn, you can just, okay, I was a, I was the group member, I mean, I was a group, group leader on social assignment, on social topic. And when we did the topic, these were the things I was able to do. And when the evaluation was done, the professor so, so who happens to be my lecturer, we all got A. In a way, you have told the, the prospective employer that this guy has a leadership skill, one. This guy, this guy has capacity of getting results, two. Number three, there are a lot of skills that you, from that angle alone, you might not, you might feel that, you might feel that they are not what you have in, in CV. But on your social media platform, so to, so, 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 such as LinkedIn, they, are, they should be there, okay? They should be there because mm -hmm. there are things that, you know, when you are making an application, okay, we are still going to go there. You will see some job applications. You will see skills that they are looking for. Okay, so if, for instance, that you have, you know, I said it before that we have always been, majority of CVs that we have, they are CVs of generalists, whereas employers are looking for specialists. You can't be a jack of all trade. Just as they say, you, you are going to be a master of none. Okay, so if 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 you are saying that you you want to you want to you want to apply for a position, you are not applying for a position of general human being manager. You are going to apply for a position of a particular department. So it is expected that your CV should be tailored to meeting the needs identified in the advertisement. Okay, now. Back to the your your CV on the on the on the LinkedIn, you clearly have to spell out your experience, the activities you've done, your education. If there are certificates you've gotten, skills that you've gotten, you have recommendation, your publications possibly if you are an academics and your language and all, all those skills. You know, when when you explore LinkedIn, you'll be able to see a whole lot more. And if you if you assume that there are some things that are not captured here also, click on hard profile section, as you can see on the screen. It will show you more. It will show you more. Uh, your core skill, your basic skill, if there are additional ones, you can you can have them or you can see publication, the patent, the projects that you have done, especially when you, I remember when I went, I went for, this is of, of, uh, Record, so to say, it is out of a topic. I went for one interview for my for one PhD application. Yeah. So when I got there, of course, you defend your proposal, which I actually did. This man went back to bring up one crazy question that I I I was never I never imagined I could be asked of that. Number one, I'm done with my first degree. Now I'm done with my second degree. I'm applying for my PhD. You are asking me. What were the discoveries I made when I did my first project in higher institution, my first in my, in my BSc? What was my topic and what were the recommendations? What were the discoveries I made? Look at that kind of question. Okay, but quite quite good for me. I was able to remember and I was able because that's the sense of doing your project yourself, okay? <laughs> so I was able to remember the topic. Okay, this is the topic I did. These were the problems I identified. And these were the so solutions that I identified, and these were the recommendations I made. When the man, I told the man, this, this, I'm sorry to say, this terrible man will stop there. He went straight to my master's. Uh, okay, at master's level, what did you, what did you do? I, I was able to remember, so I told him this. I told him this. It was okay. Now, the first one, the second one. So how can they in the contemporary situation that we have in the country? How can they be relevant? You can imagine, you can imagine stuff like that now. That is where your project comes in. You know, when you have a project you, are, you have done, just like I said in the class, there are certain projects that you carry that you might assume that they are minor projects, but they could matter, okay? So it, let's all of those, let all of those. You can see on your screen, you see add test scores, right? Hello? Yes, sir, are you, sir? Okay, you can see add test scores, you can see hard projects, you can see hard organization, you can see hard languages, even without your consent, you have organizations, you have people reviewing your CV. I get a whole lot of feedback. They, they just tell me on LinkedIn here that certain number of people have viewed your profile. Certain number of people. Okay, let me let's let's look at this now. Look at can you see my screen? I can. Yeah. yeah. By the by this and under this analytics, what can you see here? 
eight profile views. Yeah. That is to tell you that it won't be available. People that are, you won't be, no other people will not be able to see it. As you can see, it is private to you. No other person will be, seen, will be able to see it. Now look at this, 15 search appearances. That is my profile had come up when people were searching the, prof the they were searching the LinkedIn 15 times. And that is to tell you that eight people have intentionally viewed my profiles. Now, just imagine you now having a skeletal profile that is in not that is not inspiring. Okay, so it's it's you know that's the reason you see a whole lot of professionals. In fact, some companies I know some guys that are not in the country. They, all they will do is they will help you set up your profile on the LinkedIn. And they charge you a whole lot. So it's a whole lot. It is not something that you just do and you go away, you know. You do it over and you beautify, you add more flesh to it, you come back, you go, you come back, you go and hold that. I remember with my first, my first uh that was at a company I worked with like that. I started tagging those people when they came up. I started tagging them that they should give me recommendations. At least we worked together for quite a number of years. Give me recommendations, and the way I saw them, okay, let me even try to. Please, I'm just showing us this just so that we may know. Now you can see recommendations here. You can see the recommendations. Samuel is well coordinated and go setting. This guy, I worked with him while I was in Lagos. And I've also given recommendations. You know, these things they matter. You know, when when your prospective employers are looking out for some things on you, okay? They matter. And you don't want to compare. Now looking at this LinkedIn, for example, you don't want to compare it with WhatsApp. You don't want to compare with Twitter. Twitter has its own side of, of exceptionality, so to say, peculiarity. But LinkedIn has its own as well. Okay, now back to the topic, okay? Yeah, I, I was just busy talking, with using the privilege to wait for Olumide and Finance to set up their profile. Have you been able to do that on LinkedIn? Olumide and Finance. Yes, sir. You're done, right? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Now, let's try. So, just as I said before, it is expected that you have your CV. Jesse, Eugene, you're welcome, please. So, it is expected that you have your CV. So, even if you don't have it with you, I expect you to have it somewhere. And after now, please go back and practice all these things. It is not a waste, please. If at all you are gainfully employed now, there are things that you could know and possibly teach others after now, okay? So now it is assumed that you have your CV. It is it's assumed that you have your CV somewhere. Okay, um, cannot... Hello? Oh, okay. Okay. I hope you're feeling well. I think uh, Jesse is busy somewhere, okay? Now, it is expected that you have your CV somewhere. So after having that, I assume you have that anyway. So it's once you have that, then the next thing now is come on the LinkedIn and search for your job. Okay, now give me a preference. Uh, Olumide, let's use you as an example. What job or what position do you think we should apply for? Related to your field anyway. Um, project manager. Yeah, cool. And your location is where? Um, F50 Abuja. Oh, cool. So now let's let's use that to look for a project manager, project, project manager in Abuja. Or we might choose not to put Abuja, but I I always like. It depends on you anyway. If if you don't mind your job taking you out of Abuja, okay. So let's say project Abuja. Project manager job, job vacancy. Okay, under the search here, I impute it. So it's, it's going to bring up several other ones. You see the reason why I always prefer to put location, okay? You can see, you can see what is coming up here. You see all vacancy, wherever, and this is in Canada and all that. So let's curate it to job. On the on the top here, you will see you will see lots. 
I, I really wish I showed you that one. I selected a category. Let's go. Let me go back to my search. Please, can you all see the screen? Yes, we can. Yes, sir. Yeah. So I came into the search icon here. I mean, the search colon here. I typed on job manager vacancy. Yeah, I mean, job manager job vacancies. So after typing that, it it brought me to. Let me say, it brought me to the market, and I really need because it's going to bring up every. Thing that has to do with job vacancy, you know. I mean, uh, um, uh, project manager. Even if it is a post, like you can see this, this blessing shala is advertising the position, the salary scale, and all that. All of them they have. You can see all that. But I really want a specific job section. You no, know? I don't want just post. I want people that. On the LinkedIn, they are not on the post, not on the post. They use LinkedIn to advertise the position. Okay. Then on, I, on, the, on the top here, I click on job. So now you will be able to see basically what job, jobs that are related to your queries. Okay. You see, you can see lots of them here. Vice Chancellor of Nigeria actively recruiting. They are they are currently recruiting in that position. You see, senior program officer Spark Abuja, gender head. They are also recruiting in that regard. So let me now assume that. Uh, let's pick one for example. Okay, please let me let me point this out. Can you all see the screen? Yes, right? we can. Yeah, yes, yes sir, we can. We can see it. Look at this second one. Look at. I want you to see what comes here. Your profile matches this job. Now you see the essence of setting your profile rights. Okay, the reason this is coming up is because when the program officer, when the spark advertised this position, they picked. They identify certain skill and all that. And after they, when they finish it up and they posted it, LinkedIn was not doing the, in their own algorithm. They were matching those vacancies. They identify skills. They were matching it with everybody that has on that that, that are on LinkedIn. They will be they, they 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 kind of match them so that they will be able to see it's suiting for this person. It's not suiting for this person. Now that I came in here. It is letting me know that my profile matches this. So if I'm interested in doing this, for example, and you can see that they are currently recruiting. Okay, no, they are not recruiting again. This one is actively recruiting. So this is another one. Actively recruiting. This is another one. Uh, actively recruiting. So let me just pick this one, for example. Only me, you are the one that brought us this file. Me, I don't want to become a project manager. It's you. <laughs> but but let's let's move on, okay? At least we'll be able to get what we want here. Okay, now look look at look at the job here, jobs here. Sanitation and hygiene coordinator. You see lots, you see lots, you see. You see the when you click on it, the closing date is April 27th, a few days from now. You see um to be successful in this room, you must meet the following requirements. You must have this, you must have this, a master, master's degree and all that, okay? Now, let's come here. You see key deliverables include work closely with a blah, 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 blah. You see lots of them there. What are you doing? You see all those stories. So let's assume that I want to apply for this job, right? And you know, I said it before that we've gotten ourselves a CV somewhere. Mm -hmm. So now the, what I want to do now is setting hub. Let me say curating my CV in line with this position. You know, that's actually one of the key reasons why we are having this live class. Okay. Now I want to align my, I want to align my CV to this position. Okay. So after I've come here, I've seen the, I've seen the job vacancy. The next thing for me is, it's not just to click on apply. You understand? 
the fact that you have a plate doesn't mean that anybody should draw people should just drop any kind of food on the on the plate for you. okay you have a plate and they took your plate to the kitchen and what the kind of food they are bringing for you is biscuits and water it is on it's on it's on suiting because especially when you consider the plate and it's it's one expensive plate i say oh okay, go and serve yourself and you went with the expensive plate and when you are coming back to the dining you are coming with only biscuits and pure water you're like ah, oga okay. you went to take biscuits and pure water so it is more like this now you have this position and your cv is unfit you just went ahead to apply it's not it's not all about applying okay it's about suiting yourself now. It's not about putting the water, the, the biscuit and water in that plate. Put edible food that what the plate, okay, before coming to the dining. Okay, so and how you'll be able to get that done is you come here, you see key deliverables, right? Hello, can you all see it? Yes, we can. Yeah. So look at what they are looking for. In fact, some will even go to the level of Letting you know the kind of skill they want you to have, okay? Now, but these are the key, these are the deliverables. These are the things they expect you to do or to possess. Copy them, okay? And the essence of copying them, they, what we are doing now is like curating. You want to take all these key things and go back to your CV and restructure, restructure your CV. And don't let me deceive you. There are tens, possibly tens of thousands of CVs that will be dropped at these people's table for this same application. And what sets you apart is aligning your CV to that position. It will put you ahead of others because very many like you will just go, they will just eat, apply. Then they put maybe their cover letter and all of that, boom, they send the CV that is unfit for the, for the, for the uh, application. Okay, what you do is come to the skill that they are looking out for. After you have come there, then you go back to your CV. Hmm? Now, come to this website, FreeWord, FreeWordCloudGenerator.com, FreeWordCloudGenerator.com. Can you all see it on the screen? FreeWordCloudGenerator.com. Yes, you can see it. Okay, so when you get there, those keywords, those those identify skills in that job. Come here, come and paste them. After pasting them, it will show you skills. It will show you keywords. It will show you keywords from what you have pointed out. You know, we copied them out and I just came here. All I did was to just paste them. What I'm supposed to do, work closely with head or whatever, whatever. So when I finish it up, I click on visualize. I click on visualize. Immediately I do a click on visualize. It's going to bring out stuff like this for me. Can you all see the screen? Inclusive program, hygiene, wash, everyone provide, promote, facilities, support, sanitation. Then you go back to your CV and inject these keywords in your CV. Mm. Do you understand? Inject yeah. all these keywords in your CV. Because these are the words that they want to hear in your CV. It is not that I, had, I taught a class of 500 students and all of them got A. What is talking, who is talking about getting here? here? Who is talking about students here? Do you understand my point now? So it is, not, it is not all about your CV. It's about aligning your CV, curating your CV to fit in into that position. Now look at the keywords identify from the job from the job here eh? we went to the job first and foremost please always remember that we came to the job here eh? someone is disturbing someone is disturbing us. okay i think that's yusuf okay yeah yusuf you are disturbing us please I've moved you. You try to unmute yourself again. Okay. Let me just do. Let me just go back a bit. After coming to the, after coming to the LinkedIn, eh? If you don't have an account there, make sure you set yourself up and create uh, a profile for yourself, a fitting profile for yourself. 
That's number one. Number two, I assume that you have your CV somewhere. That's number two. Number three is you come to the search section here. Type the kind of job you are looking for. A job related to your field, a, a, a job related to your skill, jobs related to, to your profession. Click on it and type on it. I mean, and, and search it. So let me, let's go back. We were looking for a project manager as given to us or as given to, I mean, the, the example given to us by one of those people that we have online here. A senior regional manager in the school. You see this one again. And uh, is in is Quara Lane or whatever you see. Let's assume that uh, it is the one I want to pick. I click on this. It's going to bring it out about the job, the industry government, blah 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 blah. You see the story about the role. You see about the role too. This is the second one. What you will do? Establish school inspection procedures. See all those stories. All those stories. Look at them all. So what you should have, talking about your credential, what you are also a detailed doer, blah, 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 blah. Uh -huh. So from here now, these are the things that the, the, they will be looking for. That is your prospective employer you will be looking for. So what we now did was copying the key things they are expecting of me as a prospective employee now. I copied them. I came back here to freeworkcloudgenerator.com. I, I all I need to do is paste it here. And the essence of pasting it is for this tool now to bring me keywords. Those keywords, I will then go back to my CV and find a way of injecting them in all of my compositions in the CV. Okay? Are we together, please? Hello? Yes, we are together. Yes, we are together. Yes. Okay, I just find a way of injecting them on on our CV, and in a way that's to that's to bring us closer to the employer. I'm sorry to say, it's just like you are coming to a wedding, and prior to the wedding, they have said that the dress code is navy blue, navy blue. The very moment you appear at the wedding, and everyone is on white, if you go there with navy blue. The organizers of the event will identify with you faster than others with white because you are putting on yourself what they were expecting other audiences to put on them, on themselves. So it is more like now, others that are on white, they are like other CVs, not curated. But you on navy blue now, you are like the one that has keywords that the employers are looking for. So when they are to pick you, and give you audience of course they will give you audience far higher than others that are not well dressed like you okay so when you are done with this when you are done with this then you can go back and use all the keywords here like we have said before all the keywords that this is this tool identify we can go back to our cv inject them in our cv after injecting them in a CV, then you can clearly, you can confidently go back and make application to the job. But there is something I also want to point out. <clears throat> it is not all about you now applying for the job. You know, that, that there, is, there is something I used to do. It's just like me, after I've set up, after I've set up my CV, and I assume that it is so perfect and all good, I now put it on, on, on chat GPT that, okay, okay, don't let me even go there so that we don't get confused. Okay, so when we are done with all, injecting all these keywords, then we can go back and make application for a job. That's that. Now, I want us to also look at, you have set your CV up, okay? After setting up, just say, Eugene, please, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'll give you audience to ask questions. So after you have set your CV up, I want to come to, I want to use chat GPT now to see the kind of role I could apply for, okay? To see the kind of role I could apply for. And to do that, I still, I do hope everyone could see my screen, right? Right? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. You okay. Yes, you can. So what I want to do now is it's just like I've prepared my CV. And I was not like, do I have confidence? Okay, now, with, with this CV, which kind of job can I apply for? Okay? This job is just like, you know, I'm sorry to say, especially for a beginner, like 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 someone that just finished from our institution, you just, you go out everywhere with your CV. You, you put your CV everywhere, you know, regardless of the the... The focus of the organization, the, the description of the, of, the, of the organization, you don't care. You just drop your CV, you put it there. Okay, that's actually the, what, what we do most of the time. And it will give us frustrating results. Frustrating results in the sense that what sells you is your CV. And when your CV is not aligning with the organization where you submitted it, you just go back to church and you start praying, God, I've submitted my CV in 100 places. None of them called me. How would they call you? You understand? Because your CV is not meant for them. The CV that you composed, and it is only suiting for a secondary school teaching. You went everywhere distributing it to manufacturing companies, to industries, to organizations. There wouldn't be anyone calling you because the starting point is they will look at your CV and if your CV doesn't align with their targets, doesn't align with their motive, doesn't align with their focus, they will they will leave you hurt, okay? But how you can really align or, or how you can really evaluate yourself after setting up your CV is this. Pick your CV. As I'm not talking about uh, I'm not talking about the education, what I've got. No, I'm talking about the skill, responsibility. Of course, when you are setting your CV, you know there, there are always sections for skill skills that you possess there are always sections for responsibilities that you you've gone you've had before the what the deliverables that you're able to do there and hold that so that's actually the section that i'm talking about now okay so you open your cv can you see my screen no right can you all see my cv on the screen yes you can see the cv right no i'm seeing chat gpt Oh yeah, no. Okay, no, don't, that, that wouldn't be need anyway. So I I I, I came in to, into my to my CV, and what I'm doing on my CV is this: I'm copying areas of my job experiences, what I've done, trainings I've done, deliverables that I've done for organizations. Just like I said before, you have been a class rep, and why you a class rep? what you were able to do. You know, that's for a beginner, by the way. What you were able to do, you, you at, at one point was made a group leader. You were given a particular project. You, you guys were not supervised. And as the leader of the group, you were made to supervise, okay? And at the end of the day, this is what you were able to do. And good enough, when the group finished the, the project, the lecturer was, was torn like he was, he was, he was so happy with your performance. All of you got at least Bs, okay? And those things, you were able to put them in your CV and all that. And I said, okay, I want to know the kind of job I can apply for from my CV, okay? So I came into my CV, copy all those things, copy all those things that I have on my CV, all those job descriptions, those activities I've done on my CV and all that. Then after copying them, I, I just came in straight up into my to my chat GPT. Okay, let me let me come here. For those of us that are not on chat GPT, can you all see my screen? I'm on chat GPT now, right? I think yes, I sir. Yes. Seven people. yes, sir. Yes, sir. JC Olumide gifts iPhone. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. If it, it, chat GPT is one of the artificial intelligence. Okay, I don't want to talk too much about it. I just want to use it now. So there will be a class session where we would we we'll talk no, about can we, it. I want us to write. It won't be necessary, but if you think you need to write, you can write. But this this class, this session is being recorded. After okay, the and record, it, will be, it will be sent to us. I will put it up on the YouTube. So okay. you, you know, I, I released it. I sent out a video recently on how you could. 
you could download the YouTube video. So I will put it on the YouTube. So expectedly, you just pull it down and download it from there. Okay. But sending it, sending it, I wouldn't cause it. Would, that means that I have to download it, be sending it to the group. And I don't think I want to do that. Yes. I'll just put it up so you can go online, watch it, download it, and hold that. That's actually the essence of the group. So if if you do not know how to download YouTube video, go back and, we, and learn it. Okay. We know. We know. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. Yeah. So what what I want us to do quickly now is go back to your CV, the one that you have as it is. Okay. All those job description, all of those things that you think you have there, go back there. Let me let me log out my account first. Okay, let me. So I'm on I'm on Chat GPT now, and how you get to Chat GPT? Just come to Chat your that that is C H. Don't mind my Yoruba intonation, please. You come <laughs> to C H A T dot Open AI. You can see on the screen, right? Yeah. Yeah. You see C H A T dot Open AI. That is O P enai.com okay once you get there just click just go to your browser and type it now it's going to welcome you here welcome to chat gpt and the essence of using what why we are here is that i want us to use this tool now to examine our cv okay after examining our cv i want the tool to give us recommendations or to suggest to us which kind of job I could apply for? Which kind of position I could apply for? We are going to query it that it should even rate it. Oh, my battery is going off. Okay. Let me quickly finish up. Okay. So that it's, it should give us suggestion as to which, kind, which, which type of job we could apply for and hold that. Okay. So when you get in there, it will request that you should, you should log in. And when you log in, by logging in, it will request that you should impute your email address and hold that but, or definitely me i have several email addresses i'll just click on continue with google it will identify my email addresses then i click on the one that i want to use for this specifically okay so with that it, it will now give me an access to my chat gpt profile okay it gives me an access straight away into my chat gpt profile here okay so let me just now come back to my let me come back to uh, now. I go back to my to my CV. Copy all those job description. Okay, delegated assignment and all that. Copy all of them. Okay, okay. Personal qualities. I copy all of them. Then I come back. I come back to Chat GPT here. I'll paste it. Okay. What I did was coming to going back to my I went back to my CV. All the description that I have there, what I do, activities I do, and all of that. I I came in here, I paste and I and I have it pasted here. Okay. Pasting it is not is not the end now. Now I want to give a query to Chat GPT on what I want the Chat GPT to do. Okay, so with this one, uh, I would I, I would simply tell it. Sorry, can, what, can, what can you see on my screen now? Your mail, your mail, your email. And... Okay, sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, can, you can. Yeah, we are back to charge charge right? Yeah. Okay. So if you if you for those people that have their CVs open, please can you do that? Especially Femi, I think you said you have your CV with you, right? Or oh, Femi has gone? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Please do, please do this. Go to your CV, and for anyone that has, for anyone that also has CV open on your on your distance on your device too, go back to your CV under the skills and all that. Copy all those skills that you've gotten. Copy all of them. Then paste them on ChatGPT. After pasting them, then you come back at the at the end at the end. Please just wait for me a sec. Yeah. At the end of the chat GPT, then you, you impute the query. Now, this is the query. 
Based on my resume above, list me 10 rows I'm qualified for. Okay? Can you all see it, right? Yes. Okay? Based on yes. my resume above, list me 10 rows I'm qualified for. Rank them and give me readiness percentage based on my likeliness and blah, 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 blah. Then you click on enter. What ChatGPT will do is it will, it will give you a table. You can see, right? Yeah. Can you see the feedback that is coming, everyone? This is mm -hmm. on the basis. This is on the basis of my CV. Okay. It is the chat duty will not give me. It will suggest to me. Oh, from the CV that you have posted here, eh? These are the positions that are very fitting for you. And you know, in the in the while I was querying it, I requested that it should it should give me the percentage. The percentage or you can see the readiness percentage that is to say if i use that cv for this position learning management system administrator there is 99 there is 90 percent possibility that i'll get the job okay look at the second one educational technology specialist you can see right e-learning facilitator instructional designer you can see module developer content manager that is <laughs> for my cv okay so with this one now, when I'm making up an application, I know the position I can apply for. And when you look at all these positions, did you see anything like class teacher there for economics? No. No, uh -huh. no, no. Now, just imagine me now going to 100 schools, submitting this type of CV, my CV, current CV. I submitted it to 2,000 schools. At the end of it, I may eventually have none calling me to come and teach because my CV is not aligning with teaching. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And from, from here, you can see that ah, I'm on, and I won't apply for, for teaching, maybe as a lecturer. That means my, teach, my CV is not even aligning at all. So I can go back to my CV and restructure my CV to have elements of teaching or whatever. After I've done that, I can come back to share GPT. This one is just like an extra. You have a whole body of yourself, but it is the X-ray that will show you that. Okay, in your lunch there is a stone there. In your heart there is there is there is there is there is a perforation there. In social place there is this. So that X-ray is actually this. I mean, this artificial intelligence. Okay. So it will show you clearly that. Okay, from what you have posted from this current CV that you have. These are the jobs that are fitting for you. Now, uh, I think uh, who gave us the suggestion of the job to apply for the other time? Um, that should be, oh, I think the guy is gone. Okay. No, it was me, myself. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, you said we should go for project, project management. Manager. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, look, look, at my, look at my own CV now. Mm -hmm. My OC, and just imagine me eating on apply. I just applied for the job. You know, it would just be like it would have been like a waste of time because I won't get anything out of it. You understand now? So that's actually how to help yourself curate your CV, align your CV, copy all the job description, the skills that they need, come to this tool, paste it there. After pasting it, they use the identify keywords, go back to your CV, text them, then make up the application, okay? After you have done that, then you can, in beautifying your CV also, you can come back, okay? Uh, use the, the, the artificial intelligence to identify jobs that you can apply for so that you know where your CV will be relevant. Not that you'll be submitting your CV anyhow, anywhere, anytime, without getting results from them, okay? On the last note, I want to talk about how we can use this same, eh? how we can use this same to come up with uh, LinkedIn. Okay, before before I go, before I go, do you have anyone with question? Very briefly, question. Very briefly. Not for now. Okay. Nobody has any question for now. No. I don't have. So does it mean all I explain, all I explain, you are not getting me? No, we did get what you are saying. Well understood. Okay, okay. Yeah, now. Uh, good, I, I, I good morning. Know. Good morning. I have a question. Good morning. I have a question. Okay. Please go ahead, please. Uh, my name is Yusuf Yusuf. Okay. 
So, <laughs> so, so with what you're saying right now is that uh, I can apply for a different job, but I, I can have different CV, like adjusting my CV for different kind of job. Is that, like I can have like four skills now. So I, I, if with what you're saying is that I can apply for different kind of job by amending or amending my CV for that particular skill. That is, as, right? that, that is expected of you. You don't okay. apply, you don't apply to four jobs using one CV. Fantastic. You understand? You should customize your CV to fit in. That's what I mean by curation there. You create your CV to fit in to that job. And I use an example of you having a plate that is 10,000 naira, and they gave you the plate that you should go into the kitchen. And when you went to the kitchen, all you brought out was you brought out biscuits and pear water and you put it in, inside that plate. It's not fitting, you know? So that plate now is like companies. You putting food there, those food are your CVs. So your CV should be worthwhile, fitting, be fitting for that company. You are applying for manufacturing company. You are applying for XYZ manufacturing companies. You are expected to have done your research about them. After doing your research about them, go back to your CV, inject what they want to hear in your CV before submitting. Alternatively, you could come back. That's the reason we came back to the LinkedIn here. I don't know the companies. I don't know their locations, okay? I do not know where they are located. But I, I have address of their advertisements. Are you all with me? I have, yes, address, I have address of their, of their advertisements. The, and in that advertisement, they told me the kind of skill I must have. They told me this, they told me that I've, I've been able to read it. And that's actually what brought us to, I think, uh, Yusuf, you came late, right? Yusuf. Yes, I came late. I came late, sir. So you are smartly bringing us back. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So, and that's, and that's the reason we came, we came in here. We searched for a job, especially post, I mean, a project manager job. And we're able to see quite many of them. So from that, oh, my battery is almost drained, please. And please, uh, my system I can go off anytime from now. But but let me just be very fast, okay? So after after you have seen the application, of course, you will see there are there are areas where they will say your your skills that you are supposed to possess, responsibilities that you will do, and all that. Copy those responsibilities. There is this true. There is this tool freewordcloudgenerator.com freewordcloudgenerator.com all those things that you have copied put them there after putting them there your battery is low okay please what i will do is uh, i i uh, the next uh, live session that we are going to have i will have to i will touch these areas again okay yeah, okay, yes, sir. I think I think I have to go now. My battery says no any longer. So Thank I hope you so much. Again, we have to. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank no you, worry, sir. No worry. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Thank you so much. Yusuf, call me, Yusuf. I'll call you, baby girl. <laughs> Mister Lumi, right, thank, thank you, baby. You. Thanks for attending. Yusuf, call me too. Why? Why would I call? <laughs> I'll call you, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye, guys. All right.